Hey guys, it's Lisa from Turning Pages and I'm here today to review Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Looks like this. Such a plain but like amazing cover. I love how reflective that butterfly is. The only thing that bothers me about this cover is definitely this big old um, award. I wish it was one of the peel ones that you can just take it off and you can just add it to your bookshelf without this big old distraction. But anyways, today I'm here to review Stolen by Lucy Christopher. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the story and then kind of go into detail of what I liked, what I didn't like, what I absolutely loved, how the story left me feeling, and a couple of other things. But first I really want to give you just a quick rundown of the story. So um, Gemma is just a 16 or 17 year old teenage girl who kind of doesn't know who she wants to be or what she wants to do. She is kind of being pushed and yanked by her parents to do one thing or the other and she's not really interested in any of the things they want her to do. They're actually at the airport right now making their way towards Vietnam. While her parents are waiting by the exit or entrance or wherever you wherever you go to go onto a plane, that's where they're waiting, and she runs off to a coffee shop to go get a cup of coffee before they go. Um, when the cashier doesn't accept her cash, I think it's like a foreign cash and he doesn't happen to accept it, um, she does, she's really sure what to do until this guy walks up from behind and offers to pay for her. He even offers to put sugar and cream in there for her and they end up sitting down. After Gemma only takes a few sips, she starts feeling really awkward, really weird. She isn't feeling herself. She feels a little bit dizzy, blurry, and she starts like not being able to see properly. Um, turns out the guy that put the sugar and cream in there, his name is Ty, and he also put some drugs in there and hallucinants, I think, or I don't really know too much about it, but he put some sort of drugs in there where she isn't fully conscious of what's going on. The story continues with him basically dragging her out of the airport, forcing her out of her clothes, into some other clothes, and back into the airport. But instead of going to the airplane where her parents are waiting, he drags her to an airplane that's headed to Australia. Ty is not a teenager. I think he's in his mid-20s or so. I think he's nine years older than she is. And he's actually originally from Australia. He has a whole bunch of issues. His mom like left him and is now a druggie and an alcoholic. He doesn't know where his dad is. His dad just kind of left him in a shack in the middle of the desert. Um, after he was left there and lived there by himself for a couple years, people actually came and got him and forced him to an orphanage, which he has all kinds of bad memories from. So Ty isn't fully there and has a lot of like emotional and mental problems. And you do see a lot of this throughout the story, which is really, really interesting when he starts opening up to Gemma. Once they arrive in Australia, um, Gemma is still unconscious and even has no idea. She just wakes up in the shack in the middle of nowhere. She can't really see. She can't stand up. She can't do anything. Um, and she ends up like falling back asleep and stays that way for a couple days. When she finally wakes up and can finally like realize and comprehend what happened, she realizes that she's in Australia in a shack in the middle of the desert, hundreds of miles away from any kind of civilization with the guy who just kidnapped her. She spends about a month and a half there until something happens um, that kind of causes a huge change and a huge switch and that brings us towards the end of the book. But throughout the month or the couple of weeks that she does spend there, she gets to know his history, all the things he went through, and why he specifically chose her. Um, and uh, that he didn't choose her at the airport, that he actually chose her almost mm, six or seven years ago. And that ever since then he's been working towards this point. Obviously I'm not going to go too much into the ending because it is kind of surprising and kind of like mind-blowing the way they come about what happens. So I don't want to go into too much detail. Um, I definitely want to leave that up to you guys and to those who plan on reading the story. But yeah, so that's pretty much covers the basics. It's kind of like a mind twisting novel where it really makes you consider and really even puts you through the main character's emotions and thought process, not only while she's there, but when things end up changing and um, throughout the entire journey, I guess. You're kind of put into her thought process and even, I don't really know, it's just crazy. Like the way the story works on you, just the way it worked on her is mind blowing. It's absolutely amazing. 
When I picked up Stolen, I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into. It was kind of one of those last minute picks where I was walking to the register and I saw it lying on one of those tables at Barnes & Noble that had like summer reads on it. The cover kind of attracted me. The big old award kind of attracted me. Um, and I decided to pick the book up, read the synopsis, and after I read the synopsis, I knew I had to get it. This is definitely the book that got me back into reading. The main characters are absolutely amazing. I can't believe and can't even imagine what it must be like to go through what Gemma went through. I can't imagine what it'd be like to go through what Ty went through as a child, being dragged from one place to another, being left in the desert, being taken to an orphanage, all kinds of crazy things. I couldn't imagine being Gemma's parents waiting at that airport for her and she just never ends up coming. And the airport takes you anywhere and you just don't know where she's at. Um, there's just so many different things that were absolutely like mind-blowing that really makes you consider like how lucky you are or how what people really truly go through in the world. So this is definitely one of those books. Lucy Christopher actually has another one out I think called The Killing Woods or something like that. Something, don't quote me specifically. But that's definitely another book that I hope to pick up very very soon. Um, she writes, this book is absolutely powerful and meaningful and emotional and really, just really grasped me, grasped me. It just really sucked me in and it's just like, I haven't read a book like this in a really, really long time that has left me this way or has made me feel this way. Um, if you have not read Stolen yet, I would definitely recommend it. It's not a happy read. It's not a summer read. It's not romancy. It's definitely mind-boggling, mind-twisting, and makes you reconsider everything you kind of believe in. Um, so yeah, Stolen is absolutely amazing, totally deserves the award it received, and I guess in the end I have to thank this annoying little circle right here because if I didn't see it at Barnes & Noble, I wouldn't have picked it up. So yeah, if you've read Stolen or if you've read any of Lucy Christopher's books, then definitely leave a comment down below and let me know if you like them, which ones you read, um, what you thought about the characters or the story. Definitely no spoilers because how annoying is that? Like I'm telling you how great this book is and then someone in the comments just comes by and completely ruins it for you. But anyways, absolutely loved it. If you haven't read it, I definitely recommend it. Um, if you're looking for something that's moving and that's really touching and that is meaningful, I would definitely pick this one up. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I haven't done a book review in a while. I feel like I've been doing a lot of hauls and things like that. And my hair is just so hot. It's so hot in here. But I haven't done anything like this in a while. So it was really fun, um, especially doing it with a book that I truly, purely enjoyed. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. And don't judge me because I definitely will be wearing the same shirt in the next video. Because I'm filming them both today. So yes, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Cubs Scout.